Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like all this content that we have here. So what are we going to do in this video? We're going to go ahead and make sure our enemy can be attacked. I also want a random color on the enemy. Maybe if I have time, I'll go ahead and do some GY, maybe some health bar stuff. But for now... Uh, let's start off here. Um, so we need a color to be randomized. And we have our point count being randomized. I'm also going to randomize this shape dot set fill color. And then we're just going to do SF color like that. And here we can assign anything from 0 to 255. So that's how color works in SFML in case you didn't know. Uh, 0 is obviously no color. And 255 is the max amount. You see there are four. If you read this little thing here, there are four um, parameters. And the last one is the alpha channel. That's how transparent the color should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a rand uh, like this. I'm going to do a 200 plus 55. Whoops. Uh, you don't want it to go over. So this could be zero as well. So 255 plus one says there'll be between one and 254. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Just go ahead and put that in each one of these parameters. But the last one is just going to be 255 because we always want that to be max. Uh, and once that's done, you should get some kind of a random color on these which is nice which is very nice um good 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 once that's done we should be able to see the random color as we run this uh yes 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 very nice good uh, and to get enemies we need a function we need some functions in game here so we, we're gonna need an update void update enemies Definitely, we're going to need that. Um, boom. Whoops. Define that for us. Save that. And then we need a init enemies. So we have init player. Void init enemies. So we might not really use this right now, but we'll keep it in case uh, we need to initialize anything in there. Um, we have one enemy. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need a bunch of enemies. Um, so I'm probably going to keep that in a vector. Enemy pointer. Enemies. Instead of just one enemy, obviously. And it's going to be updated in here. It's also going to be rendered out here. So the first thing I'm going to take care of is the rendering. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make a four each loop for all our enemies enemy in this enemies and I'm gonna say render to enemy enemy render to the window I'm gonna remove our old little thing here because we're not gonna need that anymore here as well it's gonna remove that and we're gonna go ahead and do everything from this enemy vector uh, init Player, where is in it? Player, it should have messed up here. There we go, all the way up the top. So I want you to remove this. I want you to actually copy Control X this in case we need that because we have our init enemies here, and here is where we can do a bunch of stuff. Uh, or update enemies is where I'm gonna do my bunch of stuff probably. There we go. Uh, let's see. What we need is a float spawn timer and whenever that spawn timer reaches zero mm, float timer max there we go so we'll have those two things uh, void update enemies will take care of the spawn timer as well let's go initialize those in it window in the texture in enemies here this spawn timer 
equals this spawn timer max. Spawn timer equals max equals. I don't know how long is it gonna take. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Do we have anything else here? In player, for example, player. Da, 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 da. Do we do any cooldown? Okay, so we do that. How much is cooldown max? Ten. Okay. So that's how fast enemies spawn at 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to maybe 20, four, point half, point now, or maybe 50 even. I don't want them to spawn that fast. And then spawn timer max. Good. Good, 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 good. So when updating enemies, if this spawn timer, this spawn timer max, on timer equals 0 0.f and then we're going to restart so that's how this timer is going to work basically as soon as it reaches 50 it's going to go down here and it's going to reset that to zero this spawn time also we need to update this F. good so it's going to increase all the time um, and this will this will keep going each loop all the time here so we're gonna update the bullets we're gonna update this update enemies good also we need to initialize the enemies don't forget that so go ahead into your constructor for game init enemies so init enemies and update enemies don't forget to forget to call these functions as well otherwise you're gonna have a hard time figuring out what the hell's going on so this if this spawn timer uh let's see actually when this happens we're gonna spawn an enemy so i'm gonna i'm gonna do all that in one go here and then here i'm gonna update all the enemies that we have so let's do a for each loop for enemies i'm just gonna copy my for each loop here uh, we also do want to remove enemies here, most probably. But we'll see how we do that. Maybe we'll do a little update somewhere. This isn't the best way to do it, but we don't really mind right now. We just want it to be done. Good. This enemy update. Like that. Good. All right. So we have some stuff happening here. But I just want to make sure we can spawn an enemy. So this enemies dot pushback new enemy. And at some position somewhere, uh, let's see, rand like this. Mm, let's say 200. 200 somewhere around this area, the enemy is going to be spawned. <clears throat> And as we end here, where is it? The, here we go. Okay, so delete. Let's delete all the enemies. Uh, pa pa pa. Copy that. This enemies. Delete. Hi. Right, good. So that will free up your memory in case you had any left there. This will spawn your enemies for you, and this will update your enemies for you but we don't have anything in update right now all we have is it will spawn somewhere randomly and as we close the game hopefully these different looking enemies will be deleted good all right shit that's working that's working nice so it's only spawning within this area i want it to spawn all over the screen probably do that in the next video to fix that but before i end what i want to do is i want to actually center this bullet that's being shot and I think it's been done in game uh, wherever we create that bullet so this get position X and get position Y so it's being created right there I want to add this plus this player get 
Okay, we have no get size here. You know what? We'll save that for the next video as well, most probably. And create a little function in player called get global bounds. Uh, and where do we do that? Right here. Uh, SF float rect get bounds const and you don't want anything about in front of that because or you can do const actually but it bugs out sometimes not a reference though because it sends it back as a copy from the internal function as, you, as you'll see here uh, where did you go bro did you go somewhere is this player get bounds oh here we go so <clears throat> if you look at this return this shape sprite get global bounds if you hover over this you'll see that it doesn't return a reference itself so it returns a copy and if you return reference here you're gonna get an issue because you're re returning a reference to a local copy variable here and it's all gonna bug out so don't do that when you do create functions like these just make sure you check what is returning what the internal function is returning from sprite okay Good guys. So we have that get bounds. Now it's very easy to center this to just actually I can do it right now. It doesn't really matter. This player dot get bounds dot width divided by two point F. And that's a really long function, so let's go ahead and do this. Good, good, good. Like that. Uh with blah blah blah. There you go, and you have this here. New bullet texture, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now hopefully this should be somewhat centered. We also need to center the bullet as well. I mean, now we centered the bullet on the player, but it's not really centered because we're not using the center of the bullet. But it's somewhat more centered, so that's cool. Nice, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you can stick with me. I'm, I'm not feeling 100% in my throat, so that's why I'm a little more quiet than usual. Uh, but still, I really appreciate the support. Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.